the channel i hope you all are doing good so in this today's video we are going to see about the forensic examination of glass evidence this is the part 2 of this topic so let's begin so first of all we will also see the basics which is what is glass glass is defined as um, is as amorphous hard little, hard brittle substance which is usually transparent but translucent and also opaque at some times it is formed by fusion of one or more oxides like that of silica boric oxide and some metallic oxides by rapid cooling or of the fused materials to prevent crystallization of involved components here you can also see the image of broken glass in the in the previous video we also discussed about the fractures make sure to watch that the link of that is, is given in the description box below examination of glass examination of glass is done in two ways first of all there is a primary examination and there then there is secondary examination in primary examination we see that what is the appearance type of glass foreign material edge thickness and curvature and many more things and then and in secondary examination we see we check density measurement diffractive index and elemental and instrumental analysis in this video we will discuss about density measurement and the rest too will be in the next video so in the primary examination regarding the appearance here we look for the marking color whether it's transparent or not and we also check that it is flat mirror curved pattern or whether it is polished or not polished then we check the type of glass what kind of glass it is like it is borosilicate laminated tempered or wired glass then we check if there is any deposited material on the glass like fingerprints or blood stain then edge thickness here a micrometer is used to measure accurately the edge thickness of glass fragments and for the curvature spherometer is used to measure the radius of curvature of the glass fragments having curved surfaces then we check for the fluorescence under the uv radiation we know that some type of glass shows fluorescence under ultraviolet radiation with different colors which may be brown violet purple blue or green secondary examination secondary examination includes density measurement refractive index measurement and elemental instrumental analysis here we will see density measurement first of all density measurement includes four methods that is displacement method rotation method density gradient method and densitometer and at last we will also see the measuring of the density measurement of a large piece of glass displacement method here the volume of glass is determined with the water replacement when an object is submerged in water then the water is pushed with out of the way if we measure the amount of the water level increases in increase in water level then we can find the vo volume of water pushed out of the way which equals to volume of the object placed in the water now the flotation method density of a very small size of glass is determined with this method this method is based on the fact that the glass fragments will float in liquid medium having density greater than the greater than that of the fragments while they they will shrink in a liquid medium having density less than the fragments here two types of liquids are used heavier liquid and lighter liquid heavier liquid includes bromoform or methylene iodide and lighter liquid liquid includes bromo benzene benzene and nitro benzene here in the diagram you can clearly see 
that in a test tube a three liquids are taken that is liquid a b c and the uh, glass fragment is inserted in it the density of the glass fragment is equals to the density of the liquid b so we can get the density of a glass piece which is in the test tube density gradient method this method is useful when there are number of glass fragments in several unknown samples we can use the standard gradient tube or we can make the gradient layers manually for making gradient layers there are two solutions used to make gradient in different quantity first test tube includes 5 ml bromobenzene second test tube includes 5 ml bromobenzene plus 2 ml bromofoam third test tube includes 4 ml bromobenzene and 2 ml bromofoam fourth 3 ml bromobenzene and 3 ml bromofoam fifth test tube includes 2 ml bromobenzene and 4 ml bromofoam sixth test tube includes 1 ml bromo bromobenzene and 5 ml bromofoam and at last the seventh test tube includes 6 ml bromofoam and like the first and the seventh test tube liquid then sixth and fifth tech fifth at some layers glass fragments will float so we can determine the density of glass fragments according to the layer density which glass is floating it is a one type of instrument which determine or calculate the substance density substance density automatically it is very expensive instrument when we put sample on the plate of a densitometer the density will be seen on the digital output of a densitometer it is the very easy method now the density measurement of bigger fragment of glasses here we have to use a laboratory balance with sensitivity plus or minus 0.01 grams or better along with support like provision a 250 ml capacity beaker and a piece of string about 1 meter in length now we have to do is tie the string around the glass fragments and suspend it from the pan support hook of the balance after the preliminary adjustments are made with the balance before weighing weight the glass fragments in air to nearest 0.01 gram and record its value now place 250 ml beaker near filled nearly filled with water on the beaker support and suspend the glass in water adjust the glass height so that it does not touch the walls of the beaker inside the water now weight the glass fragment suspended in water to nearest the 0.01 gram and record its value which is w2 now with this formula density of glass fragments is determined with this formula that is density of objects equals to weight of object in air upon loss of weight of object on water that is density of glass is equals to w1 upon w1 minus w2 now let me show you some of the density of materials and substances first of all heavier which is kno2 that is 1.91 bromofoam 2.89 and many more and in lighter we can see nitrobenzene bromobenzene which is 1.20 and 1.52 respectively and so many other thank you so much for watching our video i hope you liked it and the remaining two methods we will be discussing in the next video that is of part 3 of this topic thank you so much for watching our video i hope you like it and make sure to subscribe the channel and like the video too